What is happening, guys? Happy Thursday to you. Hope you're having a great day out there. Um, we got some great news here just a minute ago. Now, today's video, I really want to talk about Minnow Fund and a change that's going to be happening here soon. Um, but first, I have to mention this. This just happened about an hour ago. The Steemit blog or Steemit Incorporated, the development team, announced that Hard Fork 20 is now on the way. Uh, we have a set date of September 25th when it will be launched at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, I believe. And we're at that point and if you guys have never witnessed or um no pun intended if you guys have never seen a hard fork happen what has to happen is 17 or at least in this case um, 17 of the top 21 witnesses have to come to a consensus that they agree to run this version of steam and once 17 of the top 21 witnesses do it'll go into full effect and all the features and everything will be included with this uh this update so Guys, go over to Steam at Blog. If you're not following Steam at Blog, I don't know why you're not. And go over there and uh, check out this recent article, Steam Velocity Hard Fork uh, 20. You know, a lot of people have been asking you about this, Brandon. When is the update gonna gonna happen? Uh, when is this coming out? And uh, you know, what have you heard from other witnesses? And honestly, guys, we've been really in the dark, just like you guys, for the most part. Um, we didn't know a set date of when this was gonna happen. So this is really cool to see. Now, there's a lot, a ton of technical updates in this uh, release uh, especially when you get into the witness stuff um, on here which a lot of you guys may not even care about but uh, I would suggest read through all of this um, so you understand what's getting ready to come um, the, the, so there's gonna be some changes that a lot of changes actually that are gonna affect content creators and curators so I recommend going through all this and checking it out um, a lot of cool things coming and I'll go over that probably in another video I don't have time to do that today um, but check that out read that blog I'll leave a link to that below now, what I want to talk about today is Minnow Fund. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Minnow Fund, it's an initiative that I created several months ago um, where every single week we delegate 100 SP, 100 steam power, out to minnows, out to people who are out there creating great content, who are putting in the work, you know, engaging with their following, engaging with other users, um, and just really putting in the work to build their channels on the Steam blockchain, um, whether they're using Steemit or some of the other decentralized apps. So we created this initiative to really you know, reward those users and give them the boost they need to have more bandwidth, a vote that's worth something, and just overall have a better experience here on the Steam blockchain. So we've been running this for several months now, and up until this point, we've always, you know, give it out 100 SP, well actually it hasn't always been 100 SP, I think it started out at 25, then 50, now it's 100 SP we give it out every single week. And the way we've selected users has changed a little bit, it's evolved over time, where initially we had people that could fill out applications for it, then we would go through those applications, have a voting round, where the community would vote on their favorite person from that list, and vote them to receive the delegation. Now we run into some issues where some people um, there was some kind of abuse going on where people had uh, vote, you know, kind of like vote trolls going out and voting on them, people that weren't even on the Steam blockchain. So we ran into some issues with that, and then participation kind of slacked off. And then I just said, well, well, maybe these people are too proud. Maybe they don't want to, you know, fill out an application for themselves to receive the delegation. Maybe it'd be better to ask the community, the Minifund community, to nominate their favorite Steemians or people they feel that could benefit from 100 SP delegation and put that to good use. So that's what we've done for the last month or so, last couple of months. We've received nominations every single week um, for people you know who think they know somebody that could or benefit from the delegation of 100 SP. Now, Participation is really slacked off, and this isn't really a surprise. We've seen this before. It's a trend that's gone on for a while. Whenever the value of Steam and SBD go down, participation goes down on the blockchain. Now, I don't agree with it. I don't, I don't understand it completely. At least I don't understand it as a long-term. If you have a long-term view for Steam, I don't understand why you slack off or why you do less blogging um, when the price is low. Because if you're in this for the long haul, you're earning Steam, right? <laughs> you're earning Steam and Steam Power, and that's going into your account. So when the when the price goes back up of Steam, you're you're sitting pretty, right? So it really shows the short term and the you know short angle that some people are playing, which is fine, whatever. But it is a known thing that whenever the price is low of Steam, participation on the blockchain is low as well and one thing I want to cover really fast is that just because steam is low 
you know, I know there's been arguments out there saying, yeah, this is a, a true sign of, of, you know, Steam Incorporated and the witnesses and the developers and all this stuff not doing what they need to do. People are unhappy. They're, they're leaving. They're powering down and all this stuff. Well, Steam is not the only cryptocurrency down right now. In fact, the entire market is, is pretty much red right now. Over the last three months, Bitcoin's seen, I think it's about 40% loss it's seen. Uh, Steam is down more. It's about 60%. EOS, which a lot of people consider our biggest competitor, is down about the same as us, and every other altcoin out there is down right now. So it's not a matter of Steam is not doing what it's needing to do. It's not about blockchain technology not adopting or uh, advancing and evolving, because it absolutely is. More and more companies, you know, everyday companies, are picking up blockchain technology and using it uh, in their business. So. And that's not the case whatsoever. In fact, as I just mentioned, Hard Fork 20 is getting ready to come out. So Steam is in full force. Development team is working around the clock to bring us updates and improve the blockchain. So that's not the case whatsoever. But despite all that, the price of Steam is low. And whenever the price of Steam is low, participation is low. And this has also affected Minnow Fund because we don't have nearly as many nominations um, as we should be getting every single week for people who want to receive the delegate or know somebody that should receive the delegation that we're offering. And it's kind of sad because we're offering, you know, something for free uh, for people who are, are putting in the work and who have a long term plan here, have goals here uh, to build their, their account here on Steemit. We're getting very, very few nominations. And, you know, and a lot of these nominations are coming from people who, and this is, there's nothing wrong with this, but they're coming from a lot of people who are out there posting saying, hey, uh, go to the Minifund post this week, and if you like my stuff, nominate me. There's nothing wrong with that, but there's not a lot of activity within the actual Minifund community, which is kind of sad. And again, participation is just low overall on the blockchain, so I'm not faulting anybody whatsoever. And maybe it's our fault with Minnow Fund that we haven't promoted this enough. Maybe it's something I need to look at. You know, I haven't uh, been able to boost the post as much as, as I typically would have. You know, it's costing a lot more these days to boost post. And that's the reason why the Brandon Fraud Upvote bot is now set to a minimum of 1% ROI. So that way, at least you can break even, right? Or get near break even. And a lot, of, a lot of our rounds are going to 10% plus ROI. So that's why I think it's uh, really hard to really promote stuff right now because we're not earning back as much as we used to because when the, um, the debt ratio of Steam and SBD is off, then we're getting paid out all in Steam and, um, and Steam Power. So we're, and it's not calculating right uh, to, to pay us out what we typically were getting, okay, when the price was higher. So, um, it's been a little tougher to promote this and everything else. Now, a proposed change, and actually something I believe I'm just going to go ahead and change, um, is that we could do this completely different. Now, if you guys saw my post recently, let me find that real quick. Um, I was talking about full-time geek. Uh, let me go to that post real quick. Full-time geek and his full-time posse of bots. So, this is a really cool idea, something that's given me a new idea for Minnow Fun. And what Full Time Geek does, he's got, he does a lot of stuff here on the blockchain. But one thing he does is he has a lot of different accounts out there who go out and curate uh, other accounts, you know, people who create really good content on a regular basis, and he upvotes them quite a bit. <laughs> okay, now I don't think Minifun's going to be able to, to make as quite the big as impact as he is right now, could in the future. But, uh, but this is a really cool idea. So instead of taking Minifun's um, Steam Power, which it has right now, it's 1100, instead of taking that and delegating it out to people every single week to just one person, what if we changed the model to where we started um, removing these, well, after the delegation is run out for these people, the 45 day period, you know, what if we use that Steam Power to upvote great content? Okay, and there's a couple of ways to do this. I've actually been looking at some software to use um, where you can actually attach your account to. It's a Heroku app, and uh, you can actually set a lot of different parameters as far as you know if you set some accounts that you want to upvote. So let's say Minifun goes out and chooses you know five new accounts a week, or or just adds accounts randomly here and there, and as our SB grows, we can add more and more accounts and we don't ever have to really remove uh, these accounts from our upvoting process, but 
Um, but as we get more and more steam power, it makes more sense to add more and more accounts to it. But what you do is you add accounts to you know to this software. So for example, let's say um, user X Y Z goes out and he creates some really great content for a period of a few weeks. We notice it. We add him to our software and say, hey, let's upvote him and reward him. He's regularly creating great content. And we can set some parameters. Say, you know, he has to have five, at least you know, 300, 500 words or whatever it is, article. It can't be just an image. It can't be just um, a simple video. It has to have some words with it if it's a video. There's a lot of different parameters you can set within this software, and I've just been playing around with it. I haven't really um, got it functioning yet, of course. But we could add new accounts every single week as our Steam Power grows and reward a bunch of different people. And as Minifun's uh, reputation grows, it's gonna improve those users' reputation, hopefully. And it's also gonna provide their posts with some extra rewards, okay? So I think this might be a really cool idea. Also, Minifun would be earning curation rewards off of all those upvotes. So it could benefit us that way because we're building our Steam Power from the curation rewards, which makes Minifun more valuable, which is one of the be beautiful things I mentioned about Full-Time Geek. I'll leave a uh, link to that post below, but it's really brilliant that what he's doing is because he's got like a hundred different upvote accounts out there upvoting post and as these posts get upvoted he's earning steam power which makes his accounts more valuable which means the upvotes he's given are more valuable so it's really brilliant and it's a good way for Minifund to reward a bunch of different users not just one per week and with the rate we're growing, this is actually a, a smarter way to do this, okay? I've thought about this many different ways. And recently, there's been a website created. Let me see if I can pull this up real quick. iSteamD.com or iSteamed.com. And if you scroll down this, it goes through all the different upvote bots currently and what their ROI is. And currently, or actually for the last few weeks, I've had the highest ROI of any upvote bot out there. Um, this is for like if people are delegating to my upvote bot, what are they getting back every day in daily payments of SBD and Steam? So um, my bot has been paying out more than any of the other bots out there. Uh, and it's probably due to the fact that I keep a close eye on this. I make sure that we're filling our rounds, whether we need to you know move the R or, sorry, move the ROI for the upvotes, you know, and change stuff like that. Um, I'm always keeping an eye on it, make sure we're getting the best ROI possible to our delegators and also the best ROI possible to the people purchasing you know, upvotes. So um, I just wanted to bring that up because we are going to be getting a lot more delegators because this website has come out, more and more people are becoming aware of it and they're seeing that my upvote bot is, is worth more. So now a lot more people are starting to delegate to my upvote bot, at least I've noticed that in the last few days. So anyways, as we grow, um, as the upvote bot, the promotional service grows, um, so will Minnow Fund grow you know, faster, and we can help more and more people. And I just think this is a brilliant way to, to change how we're doing things. And we don't, this won't you know, rely on the participation of the Minnow Fund community, nominating people or you know, voting on people or whatever. This will just rely on people being out there creating great content, which people are doing anyway. Okay, and it's not too hard to find these people. I've been uh, doing a lot better job of finding these people recently. And uh, I think this is just a, a cool way to reward users for doing what they should be doing anyway if they have a long-term vision for Steam and they're already producing great content and want to build their channel. So um, let me know what you guys think. Sorry this video went on a little bit longer than I really hoped for it to. Um, but I think this is a good way to move forward with Minnow Fund. You know, I always plan to keep evolving and changing as we need to. But I think this this really will help a lot more people and uh, it will take some time to get the delegation back. It'll take about six, seven weeks to get all this delegation back to Minnow Fund, so that way the upvote is worth um, what it, you know, you know, as much as it can be. But uh, once that's all done, you know, we can really reward a lot more users this way. So let me know what you guys think. You know, this whole initiative is funded through people who are so supporting. Um, and delegating to the Brennan Fry upvote service. So I want to hear your guys thoughts especially because if it wasn't for you guys Minifund wouldn't be possible but I plan to go through with this and set this all up in the uh, next week but if there are any you know strong opinions against it then I'll definitely take those into consideration. Okay guys well that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know your guys thoughts and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one guys.